Hey guys, I know it's been God knows how long, <laughs> so many months. Um, I just want to first say thank you to everybody who has been praying for me during my whole pregnancy. Thank you for just giving me courage. I saw it and I'm sorry I wasn't able to, you know, get back to you guys. The pregnancy was just uh, one in a million, but I had a safe delivery. My son is a month and two weeks old, and he's beautiful. He's the most handsome little boy ever. Um, he's been keeping me up at night like a baby should, and I'm just grateful that he's here. Um, this is going to be a short video. I just wanted to tell you guys about this dream I had. It's a very beautiful dream, so... I'll start from the beginning from what I remember. Um, I, um, let's see. Okay, so I was in London. This is like years, many years apart. I believe this is during the revelation, well, pre-revelation. Uh, um, I was in the car in London. It was late at night. I was helping this young woman and her daughter. I uh, believe she was Jewish. Uh, during this time, all the Christians and Jews were being hunted down for their belief in the Lord and staying committed to Him. So I'm, uh, I'm helping them to escape, to go somewhere else. I don't know where um, this man was helping me. He was wearing, if anybody's seen the movie V for Vendetta, so the mask that the man is wearing in it, that's what he had on was that type of mask. So he's helping us get to where we're going to get to. And the police was chasing us but we were able to get away from them so after i got the woman and child out of the car and i was going to get them to where they needed to go I, w I was asking the man i was crying begging him to come along with us and the only thing he could say is do you truly believe that they could accept me or forgive me for the things that i've done without actually giving my all and helping him and deep down i wanted to say yes i wanted to say yes i was crying to say yes to give him a foot for it, but I, I couldn't lie to him and I said no. Um, I didn't really understand exactly what he was talking about. And he just said, thank you for allowing me to help you and he drove off. Um, that was it that I had turned around and walked towards the woman and her child and her daughter. After that, uh, the scene changed. <laughs> I, the Lord allowed me to see a part of the Garden of Eden. And I know it sounds far-fetched, but in the background, I just kept hearing the angels praising and singing, saying the Garden of Eden has been taken, has been taken off of the earth and is home, has been brought to heaven. And they just kept repeating and kept repeating it. So I'm standing in a part of the Garden of Eden. I didn't see all of it. I just saw this one part. And where I was standing, Jesus was sitting on the bench. And I just knew it was him because he was standing. He was just sitting there. And all I see was his long, brown, curly hair. He had on the same outfit he had on um, that they portrayed in the, uh, you know, the movies with his white gown and his red shawl coming across him. Um, that's what he was wearing. Um, so he was just listening to this woman. I don't know who the woman was. I can't say who she was. I don't know. And she was just yelling and goofing around with uh, one of the disciples, Peter. So they were just, you know, goofing around. Jesus was smiling. So they didn't notice me. Uh, but he, Jesus turned around halfway, giving me a sideways glance and had a smile on his face to acknowledge me. And I didn't say anything. I was just in shock. And I had a smile on my face. And he turned back around to listen to the woman and to Peter. So Peter pulls out this tome. And he's telling Jesus and this woman about this another part of the garden. Uh, okay, so let me just say this. Okay, behind Peter was a regular fountain. One of those big, nice, fancy circle fountains that had layers on top of it. Now... It's important that I tell you that. So, in this tome he's reading, he's explaining to us that he said, 
and then in another part of the garden eden you will find this fountain same type of fountain that he's standing behind but except this fountain has a vase um a vase um hovering above it so the water's still flowing up but the vase isn't isn't um isn't touching it at all so it's just floating above it so it was like a old grease athen type vase so instead of it having a flat bottom it had a, a v looking shape at the bottom of it um and it was just beautiful it was like a grayish silver vase with lilac uh rims going around it in different just different shapes different sizes um in the vase it was supporting this beautiful beautiful tree i don't know what type of tree it was but it was just unique in its own way it was just supporting the tree and out of the vase tip the sprout the spout there was water flowing out of it into the fountain so that's how the fountain has its water in it and it was still supporting the tree so i was god god allowed me to visualize it to see it in that part of eden but it wasn't there physically so it goes i come back to hearing peter talking about it and then the woman's the woman who was there yelling at peter earlier was saying i don't think so i don't think that's a part of the garden of eden so they're arguing back and forth and jesus just had this had the biggest smile on his face and he and you could see it in his eyes he wouldn't confirm to peter and he wouldn't confirm to the woman if that was true or not but when he looked back at me, he still had the same smile, but you can see it in his eyes that he was saying, that's true, but I'm not going to confirm it. And it was just the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. And I wanted to weep my eyes out, but I was just so happy to be able to see Jesus. It was just something out of a fairy tale, you know? So in, in, you know, part of this is just telling you don't give up on God. Don't, don't give up on him. He will always be there by your side. And have faith. Because no matter what you go through, God's going to be there. And he will bless you to see things that nobody else has ever seen. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know I wasn't expecting it. I didn't ask God for anything. I did. I haven't asked the Lord for anything but except for to continue to give me guidance, to continue to teach me into becoming a better person, a better woman, a better mother, a better have a better soul. I just wanted to find a way to connect with my family better through Christ. So I've been devoting myself more because during my pregnancy, you know, I still prayed and I still gave the glory to God. I just, um, I just, uh, haven't given my all to him. And, you know, I did apologize to the Lord and I prayed and, and fasted about it. And I just wake up every morning, giving God the glory, giving God the thanks that he deserves. And I'm going to continue doing that. So you guys just appreciate what you have appreciate the trials and turmoils that you go through because it's only gonna make you stronger and appreciate them by continue to acknowledge the lord continue blessing him continue to giving him his praise continue worshiping him because he's going to be there for you and he just wants your love he just wants you to be committed to him that's all so guys it's pretty late and i gotta get back to my little son um but i just want to say again thank you guys for um reaching out praying for me praying for my family um i just want to ask that you guys pray for my father he's going through it right now um his name is jerry Hahn. if you guys can just please please um pray for him 
it's really really a tough time for him right now and i'm trying my best because he's all the way in a whole other state and i'm in a different state and it's just it's hard on him as it is hard as it it's hard on him than it is for me, but it's hard for me because I can't physically be there to help him like I normally would during the summers. And it's killing me, but you know what? The only thing I can do is just pray to the Lord, continue to give me guidance, get, to continue to give me the words to encourage him to keep going. So um, that's all I can ask for. You guys have a blessed evening. I'm going to try my best to continue to put out more videos more frequently now that I'm not pregnant and I'm able to get a little time um, every now and again. Uh, so God bless you all. Stay safe. Love you. I'll see you again next time. Love you. Storm Rings out.